Hello, dear students. I am Hemant Sharma. Welcome you all in our uh, tutorial class. So, in uh, today lecture, we perform we want to perform the experiment on uh, RL series circuit. So, before uh, performing the experiment, we go to the calculation part first. So, as you see here. This is our RL series circuit. So why we said this is RL series circuit because the resistor and inductor both are connected in series. And uh, in the in this calculation part, we take a supply voltage of uh, 220 volt and uh, resistance of uh, 1000 and uh, inductor of 1 Henry. So in order to do the calculation, we must calculate the power of the circuit, power vector of the circuit impedance of the circuit and current of the circuit. So as we know that the impedance of the circuit is the formula for the impedance is Z is equal to square root of R square plus X square L. So as the value of the resistance is given that is 1000 ohm and the value of X, XL is not given to us. So in order to find out the value of XL so we have a formula xl is equal to 2 pi fl okay so accordingly we put the values over here and uh, we take the value of frequency is 50 hertz so always keep in your mind in ac circuit we have a frequency of uh, 50 hertz we take so put the value over here 50 and the value of inductance is 100 so we put that value over here uh, one, so we get XL is equal to 314 after calculating this. So put the value of XL into the uh, this formula. So we get Z is equal to 1000 square plus uh, 314 whole square. So we get the value Z is equal to 1048 ohms, right? So accordingly. If we want to find out the current into series uh, RL series circuit, as we know that the in the series circuit we have uh, current is same. So the formula for it is I is equal to V upon Z. Here V is the applied voltage and uh, Z is the impedance of the circuit. So as we know that the value of V is uh, 220 volt. And the value of the impedance is 1048 that is that we are already calculated so after that we will find the value of current current is 0.20 amperes so the accordingly if we find out the power factor of the circuit the formula for the power factor is cos phi is equal to r by z so the value of the resistance we take 1000 and the value of the impedance is 1048 so when we solve this, we find out the power factor is 0.90. Power 0.90 uh, lagging. Why it is lagging? Because in RL series circuit, we have an inductor. And in the inductor, we have a current lag behind the applied voltage by an angle 90 degrees. So that's why the power factor we take lagging. So, and if we want to find out the power, the formula is P is equal to V into I. So as the applied voltage is uh, 220 volt and uh, current we already calculated for the whole circuit is uh, 0.20 amperes so the power is 44 kilowatt right so this is all about the power factor of the circuit and in rl series circuit current is always remain same so 0.20 is the whole current of the circuit so now we moving on to the designing part so before moving on to the designing part, I want to show the circuit diagram. So this is a circuit diagram if we want to perform the experiment in the uh, lab. So here you see this is the voltage uh, voltage variate or say this is the auto transformer. Okay, this is the symbolic representation of the auto transformer. And what is auto transformer? Auto transformer is the one winding transformer. And in the auto transformer, the same winding act as primary and the same winding act as secondary winding. 
and this uh, auto transformer is connected to the single phase supply as we perform this experiment onto the single phase supply so single phase supply is connected to the auto transformer and with the help of this auto transformer supply is given to the whole circuit right so this is our uh, voltmeter that is connected in parallel with the whole circuit and uh, that uh, voltmeter is used to measure the voltage of the whole circuit given voltage of the whole circuit that is uh, adjusted by this auto transformer right and here this is the ammeter and that ammeter is connected in series and that ammeter is used to measure the current of the whole circuit as uh, voltage is varied by this auto transformer okay so accordingly the current is uh, varied and this is the wattmeter of the circuit and uh, that wattmeter is used to measure the power of the whole circuit and here you see we have uh, a inductor coil and uh, we have a resistive load right uh, okay so we connect a voltmeter in parallel with the inductor coil okay so this part uh, uh, is the designing how we design the circuit and how we make the connection on our uh, practically in our lab so as we perform this experiment uh, and we design this experiment uh, onto the uh, online we perform this experiment on online mode so there are some changes so in the if we want to perform that experiment onto the online mode we don't have a wattmeter so we calculate the power v p by formula p is equal to v into i right so we design i want to show you uh, that circuit which we want to design on our online mode so here we design this type of circuit onto the online mode right here we have a voltage supply and uh, we have a resistive and we have inductive load and uh, onto that uh, inductor we connect a voltmeter in parallel with the inductor and uh, we connect a ammeter in series with the resistance uh, resistive and inductive load for the measurement of current right so as uh, we want we first want to demonstrate the experiment so as you see here this is the voltage variate as the name indicate voltage variate voltage variate means it change the voltage in steps so in this experiment what we want to see we first adjust the voltage to the 50 volt and uh, accordingly we want to see the uh, changes of current and uh, we want to check the power factor of the circuit okay what will be the effect when the uh applied voltage is change then what will be the effect of the uh, voltage uh, across the inductive inductive load and what will the effect of the voltage connected across the uh, resistive load so these things we want to check from this uh, experiment so we start our experiment when we type onto the onto the google virtual lab so when we type virtual lab so we get this type of link and uh, when we click onto this then a new link opens and uh, as you see here this type of window we get and uh, when we click on to the electronics and communication part then uh, scroll our screen down and uh, click on to the electric circuits lab and uh, after that a new window opens and uh, into that uh, window we have a option of series rl circuit when we click on it then uh, we get uh, the lab manual of this experiment and uh, here we have uh, xl is equal to pi fl and uh, these parameters we already calculated at the start of this lecture so as we want to design this uh, circuit so we click on to the simulator and uh, when we click on to the login part so we get this type of option 
and uh, by creating uh, a username and password by filling this and uh, click on to the login part and uh, when i log in then uh, we click on to the adobe flash player to enable it okay so when i enable the adobe flash player then uh, we get uh, and we enable yes we able to work on to that uh, simulator here you see we able to work on to that simulator link so as we want to design circuit for the register resistive and inductive load so we choose the components from the component section and uh, make the connection accordingly so as from this uh, i want to see you as from this circuit diagram we make the connection on to the virtual lab right so we make the connection according to this diagram by taking wire from the right side of the window one thing you keep in your mind you always make the connection in sequence in this manner so as you see here when i make the connection a dark end uh, appears at the end of each uh, component this dark end uh, represents that our connection is uh, okay perfectly connected with each other like this if your connection is not uh, properly connected to each other you not able to get uh, readings properly so make sure that your connection is preferably properly connected in this manner so now we take a voltmeter that voltmeter we connect in parallel with the inductor as i already shown to you in the circuit diagram okay so now our circuit diagram is completed according to this diagram okay so now as we know that as we know that this is our auto transformer this is our auto transformer and in that auto transformer we have a variable supply variable voltage supply okay so we give a variable supply to our circuit okay so how we give the supply variable supply by clicking on to this uh, simulator uh, by uh, clicking on to that ac power source and we get a option on to this side okay so by clicking on to this and uh, filling the voltage first 50 volt and uh, as i already told uh, i i already telling you in ac ac circuit we have a frequency of we have a frequency of 50 hertz so we fill that uh, to the 50 hertz supply okay 
and when we click onto the register and uh, i fill the register to the 1000 ohm okay and uh, after that clicking onto the inductor so i fill that 100 okay so when i click onto the shows value so these values are uh, visible on to each and every component on the screen right so here in this ac power source we have a white button so when i click on to that white button so this ac power source appears a green color okay so that green color represents that our ac power source is on okay so when ac power source is on so you see the current we get 0.04 amperes okay and we have a voltage of 14.98 volts across that inductor okay so you note down the readings and as when i further increase the voltage from 50 volt to the 100 volt so as you see here the current is further increase and the voltage across the inductor is further increase so accordingly you may find out the power factor of the circuit so actually i want to show you that when we increase the voltage okay so when we increase the voltage what actually happens the current is also increasing and the voltage drop across the inductor or uh, uh, voltage drop across the resistor is also increasing so that uh, uh, i want to demonstrate you with the help of this experiment so now when uh, we further increase the voltage from 100 to 150 volt so as you see here the current is uh, further increasing and the voltage drop across the inductor is also increasing so similarly when voltage is, in, is increasing so that's why the current is also increasing okay this is non contact ammeter so when we move this non contact ammeter to the series circuit as you see here the current is always remains same in the series circuit this shows that the current always remains same in the series circuit okay so it, so this is all about the uh, rl series circuit experiment so i think uh, you really enjoy this uh, lab session and uh, if you satisfied this please uh, like share and subscribe my channel and uh, i will be very thankful to you so thank you very much for listening me have a nice day